credits and local energy rebates, you could save up to 26% off your purchase, adding to the savings you'll enjoy over time with PowerCell. Call or go online now to request a free quote. The call is free, the quote is free, and there's no obligation to buy. PowerCell is available now and ready to install. And if you act now, you'll receive PowerView, Generac's home energy monitoring system, a $300 value. Don't wait. Call or go online now. PowerCell, savings powered by the sun. Welcome back into Wake Up America. Happy Monday morning to you. Thanks for being with us. I'm Rob Finnerty. President Ronald Reagan would have celebrated his 110th birthday this past Saturday. He's got a long legacy, including one that includes Secretary of State George Shultz, who passed away on President Reagan's birthday at the age of 100. Here to break down two renowned politicians is New York Times bestselling author and historian and the author of three books about President Ronald Reagan, one of which I have read, two of which I'm going to get to. Craig Shirley is with us. Craig, good to see you. Happy Monday. Thanks for being with us here on the Monday. show. Um, George, George, it's good to see you. George Schultz, yeah. an absolute titan um, and really, you know, one of the last vestiges of a, of a, a, a bygone era, fought in World War II, uh, won the presidential or was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 1989, held four cabinet posts, the only person to ever do that, um, just so well respected. He passed away at the age of 100 this weekend. Uh, your thoughts on his legacy? Well, you're absolutely right, Rob. He is one of the last of the, of the titans of, uh, of cabinet cabinet post position that weren't necessarily there weren't elected president but wielded incredible power uh, as Secretary of State and later and earlier uh, under the during the uh, Nixon administration uh, three different cabinet posts under Richard Nixon uh, he presided over the negotiations with the Soviets including the reduction of 2700 intermediate range nuclear missiles. Uh, and this alone should have earned him the P the Nobel Peace Prize and, Re and Ronald Reagan, for that matter. They didn't get it, but it, it earned them. He was a, a Secretary of State of great consequence, of great depth. He was a patriot of great depth. Uh, the, the, he's, his like is gone and will be missed. You know, I'm a uh, I'm a faithful guy, and I I just think it's fascinating when it comes to uh, to to great leaders, great political figures. Um, We've had, I believe, three presidents die on the 4th of July. Um, of course, Thomas Jefferson and John Adams. I think James Monroe as well. But Yes, that's right. Was it that's Monroe? Right, yeah, okay. Um, and, and we had this man that's, that's legacy is so tied in, tied in with Ronald Reagan die on what would have been his, his 110th birthday. I mean, this can't just be timing, right? Well, Rob, I like to think that things happen for a reason. I agree with you. Things happen for a reason. And he reached 100 years old on Ronald Reagan's 110th birthday. There's some significance there. Maybe, and, it's just, and if it's anything, it's to remind us that great things can happen when great men are in positions of power. And great things happened under uh, George Shultz. You know, he, Nixon, Richard Nixon tried to get him to use the IRS uh, when he was head of the IRS to try to go, go after his political opponents, he refused to, and Nixon was not happy at all with him, uh, is that in every uh, Eddie and current in George Schultz's life, he was always a man of honor, always a man of dignity, and maybe it's uh, reminding us that we need more men of honor, more men of dignity today that we don't have anymore. We don't have as much of anyway. Ronald Reagan said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall, and it came down a couple years later. Without George Shultz, does that happen? Probably not. Uh, George, you know, that's such an interesting question. George Shultz was, was so important to negotiations with the Soviets, to helping, them, uh, to helping them surrender their position of power, to helping them surrender the, their devotion to uh, communist uh, theory and communist practice. So, you know, that's such a good question. I, Rob, I, I, I would study it, and I would come to the conclusion that the wall does not come down without George Shultz's intervention. Craig, uh, final question, and I just, I, I'm looking at the, the images of uh, Michaela Gorbachev there and, uh, and Ronald Reagan, and, and it's just, it was a different time, but it's not that long ago. They seem like they oh, developed a rapport over eight years. They might have been, I don't want to use the word because it seems so foreign to us now, but they might have actually been friends. They liked each other. That's why they were able to get things done. What's different now? Um, is that the, the things are so, so 
polarized it, but they're not polarized really over ideology so much as they're polarized over um, uh, over personality. And you're right that Reagan and Gorbachev did become friends. Gorbachev went to visit Reagan at the ranch after he was president um, and stayed at the ranch for a, a, a couple of days. Reagan, uh, after he was president, went to uh, Europe, including Moscow, and he went to see Gorbachev after he was out of power. And they had a very, very, and I recounted this in my book, um, Last Act, about uh, the friendship between the two. Yeah. So there was, there was something to be said, something important, uh, Rob, for, for world leaders to also strike up friendships. I think it helps in negotiations and helps in easing tensions. I should say, before we let you go, Craig, Gorby will be 90 years old on March the 2nd. He's still with us. Yeah, That's God right. bless him. Yeah. All right, that is Craig Shirley. Thanks so much for your time, Craig. Great to see you as always. I always enjoy it. Thanks, Rob. All right, stay with us. A lot more Wake Up America coming your way next. Or the land.